royal commentator Jenny Bond has sparked outrage and has been accused of tarnishing and exploiting Princess Diana. She joined Sky News on Friday afternoon and recalled a conversation she had with Princess Diana after about Camilla, and alleged she labeled her loyal and discreet. When discussing the next couple of days ahead, Jenny explained, well you don't have to take part and you don't have to watch it, go to the beach, or do something else, you have a choice. A lot of people are going to enjoy it and I would just say about Camilla, I sat with Diana in her drawing room and talked about Camilla. Camilla in Diana's view had been loyal, and discreet and deserves some form of recognition, well she is going to get it on Saturday. Her comments caused outrage on Twitter, with broadcaster and author Dr. Shola Moshab Bamimu tweeting, I don't care if Camilla is queen. She's the king's wife, what else would she be? But to tarnish and exploit Princess Diana in such a shameless way to legitimize and validate Camilla is cruel and reprehensible. Diana suffered at the hands of Camilla. Let her rest in peace. Don't miss. Joan Collins' appearance leaves GMB viewers incredibly distracted. Latest, Emmerdale's Nikki Milligan's mum exposed as fans work out return. Watch, Paul O'Grady's last bit of filming for BBC show he wasn't fan of. Insight, Twitter user at Gil Shorten replied, She will never take the place of Diana in my eyes. They used her and abused her and hung her out to dry. But she fought back and I loved her for that. At Jeff Doherty 6 added, Once Charles has died and William becomes king, will Camilla be known as the Queen Mother? God forbid. At Weeward Woman fumed, any wonder Harry is furious at the media. Constantly rewriting the narrative to suit themselves. At Jules Rules praised, she has a point though. People need to chill out a bit. Sick, on Saturday May 6, Camilla will be crowned as queen alongside her husband King Charles III but has been met with mixed feelings. Diana and Charles split in 1992, before finally divorcing four years later, just months before the Princess of Wales died in a car crash. Camilla married Charles in 2005, with many blaming her for the breakdown of Charles and Diana's marriage. Diana once told BBC's Panorama, there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded.